Listen, if you want to talk to me at any given time, you can just, no, 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 look. I just leave the mic right there. You can, like, give him a play-by-play, -play, you know? Hey, Howard Cosell got famous doing that, you know what I mean? So, we had, like, the vanilla bean thing, right? You remember where we were? Okay. So, brioche is, uh, I realize why the spelling's not the same. It's because of all this butter that they use in the dough. So now that I, yeah, look at the face. That's why I like all of it, you know what I mean? That's why I'm a big brioche fan all of a sudden. So that's what this is. All the butter is mixed up, and then we had that vanilla bean starter. Now what you want to do is you eventually want to take these things out. But after you, like, dry them off, a good tip for you is to put them inside of your sugar container. And your sugar, like, gets this incredible vanilla flavor. Now... That is the vanilla and the yeast mixture, okay? That's what this is here. So the whole key is that we've got to mix these two doughs. This dough, the butter dough, and the starter, that's what's going to make it nice and poofy, right? And then a couple of eggs, and then as much flour as we need to work this thing in, which is going to be some. So you work this brioche dough in. Is everybody with me so far? See? It's no big deal. So just a couple of little extra steps from bread dough. So now we have this, this dough, which is the brioche dough. And my hands are a mess. You put it inside of a buttered or a lightly oiled pan because it's got a proof. Just like bread dough's got a proof. How are we doing? You're doing a great job. Are they frying well for you? They're frying. Okay. All right. Hey. She's doing the beignets for everybody, you know? You're doing great. So now, here, we won't keep you lonely because now we've taken away your sous chef. That way you don't threaten me when I go outside, you know? It's New York, you know. So, the bread dough now, this brioche dough, folks, it's proof. This is proof. How do I know? How do you know? It's good and airy, okay? So now, you see that? Now is when you put it on a floured surface. You see all that air? We need a shot of that. Uh, Nanu Nanu, can you come down here, please? <laughs> come on. Come on, Nanu Nanu. You see all that right there? That's all those air pockets. That's good. We want that. We want air pockets. All right. Now, how are we doing? They're looking good. Oh, you're doing an awesome job. Doing an awesome job. Now, when you're ready, just let me know, and I'll, uh, you can kick me, bite me, whatever, and I'll pass you this. And then we'll, we'll do a bam for the audience. How's that? Okay? Can you bam? Good. All right. So now what you do, folks, is that you can either use square brioche. You can do little muffin brioches like this. Okay? Did you like that technique? See, I started in a bakery. See that? In Fall River, no less. But the key is for brioche, to get that awesome, you know, you, you look at brioche, it's got that really dark crust. Okay, you can pick them up now. Let them drain like this. Just let them drain, just like that. When they drain for about 10 seconds, we're going to come over here. All right? So, this is what they look like when they proof again inside of these pans. That's why they're all, like, good and poofy. There's not, like, shaman in there or anything. It's really good in there, you know? And then when they bake... Because of the egg, the egg yolk, that's how they look when they're finished, okay? That's how they look when we're finished. 